Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosives one, TNT, D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T. What up, Jonas? Dude, I have so many things to tell you about today. Ooh, I'm intrigued. First off, I need to tell you about a super secret about my life. Oh, you're in love with me? That I'll tell you on the next episode then. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, dude, hanging out, having a good old day, playing, uh, playing uh, Pandemic Bingo. Pan. <laughs> I'm sorry, I wasn't ready for that. Got you off guard. Yeah, a little bit. What does that e- What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> is, I thought we were really in it, dude. Yeah, I, I was mean, ready. I mean, with all the stuff you aren't able to do, when you could just. <laughs> what have you thought about doing and not been able to do? Uh, all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to go to the grocery store today, and I was like, man, nah, I'm gonna. Hey! I like life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, That's right, anyways, yeah. thank you so much for joining us today. Whether you're watching us live on the YouTube channel under Crazy Town Media, subscribe there, folks, or Spotify, iTunes, where you can hear our voices pound your eardrums like a three ways splash on. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, say it. <laughs> Get it out, man. Threesome, dude. Like, Threesome. Fuck, like what? Like Ron Jeremy and a. Three way, dude. Three way ear bang, dude. Oh, yeah. Dude, yeah, just dude. like flesh. You lights. in one ear, me in the other ear, and both ears getting tore up by our wow. voices. Are you into this shit, dude? What? <laughs> Is this something you're into? No, dude. It just sounded fun at the time. All right, um, I'm going to check your internet history this after guy, this episode. Feel free. Feel free. I am, young man. I do not hold you. I am not accountable for any scars that are given to you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this guy, he does Twitch things. He's uh, famous. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at uh, 10 o'clock Central. That is TNT, D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore crazy town. Yeah, boy. Yeah, I'm your boy. He's got sweat. I've never said that. Jones, you know, I, I often wonder about like the weird type of pornography that people look up <clears throat> uh do you like you, nothing illegal like necessarily that? yeah because like you're you're pretty like normal <laughs> unassuming guy <laughs> and uh i've known you long enough where i i have some brief insight into something that you some things that you would be interested <laughs> in right you know just as much as any other man would have about his other male friend right and I think you're into some pretty weird shit. So I wonder, like, how deep the rat because it's iceberg effect. Not just, not, but that. <laughs> right, right, right. Not right. just with you, but just with, like, normal people. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like what you see is, mm. like, there's always, like, 90% underneath yeah. the water. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, the, it's like the person who drops a racial slur and you're like, oh, yeah, you got caught. What do you, what do you sound like when you talk to your friends? <laughs> <laughs> like it's like oh yeah that's the one time you ever said it in your life uh huh yeah. you're at home just like end bombing the world dude it's like <laughs> like that chick you brought over <laughs> <laughs> who made the black people chicken comment yeah I remember that yeah I was like yeah, yeah you gotta go <laughs> <laughs> yeah that'll happen yeah it does man yeah, yeah you, gotta, you gotta make sure they go just in case she's listening <laughs> <laughs> I ain't forgot, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but yeah, dude, it's like I mean, so like, so you meet a new person and you're like, man, I wonder what kind of porno they watch. <laughs> it's just more like, yeah, I feel like the more normal quotation fingers that a guy tries to look, I feel like he's probably into. Well, yeah, dude, I feel like the people, like the people who they like, like. <clears throat> What would not be like stuff would be like, they're like, oh, okay, yeah. Well, if you're willing to admit that, like, I don't think you're, I mean, you might be looking up that sort of stuff, but I don't think you're trying to hide nothing. But the guy's just like, what do you mean? I only like missionary style sex between yeah. them. And you're like, bro, what are you, what are you really watching? I because- kind of wish there was like a way we could, we could find out. Cause I feel like, I feel like I'm a weirdo, but my shit is pretty, it's pretty boring. <laughs> It like really is. Yeah. There's there's some there's some darker stuff in there, but it's pretty more. Yeah, I mean, dude, it's nothing a, illegal either. Yeah, no, dude. Um, but you know, honestly, dude, my my mindset I about think, I think in, in I general think it's not illegal. Some, is I couldn't care less what people watch as long as it's not illegal. No, if I I don't give a shit what you watch as long as you ain't watching stuff with like animals or kids or shit like that. Like, do your thing with animals or kids, like things that are illegal. Yes, like kids going to the petting zoo. Yes, 
No, like if you're watching porn no, and it's no. legal, yeah, I, got I wasn't you. getting into the the what the fuck, man. I don't know. I thought you were gonna start getting into animals. <laughs> Sorry, you know I can't take animals. All right, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to make light of it. It makes me sick. It makes me physically ill. Children too, but animals, like, come on. Yeah, yeah, dude. No, I get it. But like no, it's like you know, it's as long as like you know you aren't gonna go to jail for doing it in person. Like uh, I'm fine with you watching it. Do your thing, man. Let your freak flag fly. What if I'm really into watching uh, baseball players masturbate in a Walmart parking lot? I mean, that's illegal. <laughs> Watch famous. <laughs> Yo, that's a weird fetish. <laughs> that's a weird fetish. That reminds me of the, we were going to talk about OnlyFans on the last. Episode. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So Jonas, OnlyFans is not necessarily a pornography site. It is not. It is not. So we. I get, mean, it's just that's mainly what it's known for. So when we get our OnlyFans, maybe we'll have like a couple of pictures with us touching each other's penises. <laughs> no, nope. but for the majority, that's on, that's that's going to be for the subscribers. <laughs> Yeah, of our OnlyFans, it ain't cheap now. If I'm gonna touch your dick, I'm gonna get paid for it. I, but or we, but but the majority of it could just be like extra content. We could have like a a, a mini sode that we put out, or I could like people ain't watching this shit for free. Why would they pay? <laughs> What are you talking about? Shut up, dude. There's dick stuff, too. There's dick stuff. What? There's a, there's a little bit of dick stuff, but oh. most of it most of it is just like, you know, extra content that yeah, we put out. what did out. I see? I saw somewhere there was like some wrestler that used to be in WWE that started in OnlyFans to teach uh, wrestling videos. Yes. <laughs> like, that was yes. like, oh. There are people on OnlyFans who teach like how to make certain recipes and shit. And Cardi B is recently using it. I don't know how you guys feel about Cardi B, but she's using it now to clap back at the haters who want to talk shit about her. I'm doing like the head nod thing too. But yeah, they're So she, she goes there and just speaks the truth. So instead of clapping clapping back at haters on Twitter, she's going to do it on her OnlyFans. But it's gonna stay PG. Well, it's gonna stay R rated because she swears like a fucking sailor. But yeah, for that's what she's doing with her. So only she's thing. gonna say like, if you guys want to hear me talk shit, yeah, here basically. Pay and talk. Can basically. we just get on there and talk shit? Yes. So we just like we'll make a video about why we hate some celebrity and like just talk mad wow. shit about them. <laughs> <laughs> just be like, hear us roast motherfucking celebrities. <laughs> Who, who do you want to do first? Tom Hanks. Really? Thank you. <laughs> it's about time. I'm glad you've jumped I want off the Tom want, Hanks I want to do some controversial shit, dude, because <laughs> then people will be like, oh, my God, they're going to talk shit about Tom Hanks. <laughs> like, nobody fuck, likes, yeah, look at his stupid eyes. I swear to God, Joe, nobody likes Tom Hanks like you like Tom Hanks. I don't even like him. You talk the, the cleanest fucking just like the, where do you get tom this? hanks is like your uh mr rogers no he is not <laughs> you why do you think that i like tom hanks because you brought up tom hanks on set on like three or four occasions about talking about how i like him so we, much we, i just feel like you hold him in high regard uh no i would definitely roast tom hanks all right fine. yeah dude. are you sure Yes. I don't want it to hurt you. I don't, I don't have any feelings. I'm dead inside. I, <laughs> I can't know be he's, hurt. I know he's one of your heroes. Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which. What? So, so sometimes at my, at my work, they, uh, okay. they, they like do these, like, they do these, uh, we'll have a meeting and they'll do like a, like an icebreaker. And they wanted us to tell everyone who our hero was and talk about it. Our hero. Yeah, right, right, right. And I, and like and I'm like, uh, neither here nor there. I'm not going to give my opinion about nah. what I think of the activity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, but I was like, like I, they're like, I need you to send me who my hero, who your hero is. But and I'm like, I sat there for like five minutes and I'm like, do I have a motherfucking hero? And I was like. <laughs> Do I have a hero? And like, I literally had to reach out to my boss and just be like, dude, I can't participate in this because I don't have a hero. Did other people participate? It hasn't happened yet. I'm I'm waiting. It's like next week. Do I really need to know the type of individual that has a hero? <laughs> Right. Okay. So am I not weird that I don't have a hero? Like, I couldn't I, imagine. Like, having I, a honestly, hero. the only thing I thought of was like. And I, I was like, I should say myself because, like, I am the one who motivates and, and, like, drives my own life. And, like, I'm like, but then I look like his, he's his own hero. I, I, the only person I can think of that's my hero is me because I'm the one that drives me to do everything in my life. That's that that comes across a little a little fucked up. I'm just gonna <laughs> say the way you said it, 
comes across a little fucked up. I would say it's that I, I don't require hero. I would never say that I'm my hero because I am the biggest proponent for my uh, failure just as much as my success. Well, right. And so I'm, I'm my hero. I guess I would have to say myself because yeah, like it's yeah. not like I'm like, oh, man, look at look at. That is such a weird, it's a weird statement. Yeah, I'm though, like, right? oh, look at uh, General Storm and Norman. He did all the war stuff, and he's my hero. I'm like, yeah. dude, I don't... Like, but I guess there are people, like, there's people out there that stand really hard for, like, people. Yeah. Like, Taylor Swift has stands. Uh, Beyonce has stands. Yeah. yeah, and, like, and I guess it was, like, I guess it was relevant, too, and it made me think, because I had a, uh, there was, a, like, I, like you know, I'm in, I'm in a couple different chats, and there's this guy said something about, he said something about something. And said something about like his dad being his hero. He's like he was like he was like he, he was in the, he was in the war. And he was like a, a war general. And, all, and I'm like, that okay, if my dad was like a war hero and had a purple heart <laughs> and all this shit, I could be like, that's my hero because like he did some shit. Yeah. But I ain't gonna like someone I don't know. I'm not gonna idolize a person I don't know. I don't know who they are as a, a person. Yeah, that's crazy. I could. I, I don't even have to say that my dad would have to be a war hero if he if he was just like a really good dad and he just did a good job at being a father and rearing and teaching and everything. I could see some some hero like shit coming in there, you know. But people are valuable, so you know. Yeah, right? it's like I just. <laughs> this, is right? so, this is gonna sound so terrible, but I feel like every single person. <laughs> Is just set up to let you know. <laughs> they are, Jonas. Anybody we hold in that to, high regard. Anybody, Jonas. Welcome to the world. You got, I'm sorry. I'll start preaching. Anybody but what you put you, on a pedestal is going to let you down. Yeah, man. People are made. We're we're created to fail. Basically, right. it's are. like, and that's why, like, if some, if you're in a relationship and you put like your boyfriend or girlfriend on a pedestal, like, oh my god, they're so wonderful, whatever, they're just gonna let you down, dude, because yeah. the, the second they don't live up to that hype, you're crushed. I feel like the key is once you learn to understand is that that is not only a possibility but an inev inevitability <laughs> is when you just learn to appreciate people a little bit because that, that's just what we are. Well, yeah, I mean, you have. I've, to I'm going to fail. I'm going to let people down. I'm going to. I'm going to also pull through. You know? Right. Exactly. I guess. I guess the. I guess the. The bottom line of all of that is like, how often do you let people down compared to how often you pull yes. through? And what are your intentions? The distribution of the right. Team. And what are your intentions? Like, even if you let them down, yes. did you do it willingly and knowingly, or did you like? Did you forget, or did you, <laughs> or did you honestly like, just not weren't able to live up to an expectation or whatever. <laughs> Do you live your life through malicious compliance? <laughs> <laughs> right. It's like, I was just like, I was like, it really just hit me. And my, my boss was just like, Oh, it's cool, man. You know how to participate. And I was like, <laughs> thank you. Cause I, yeah, didn't... my hero. Yeah, dude. I play, I play Winston, uh, Moira <laughs> and ring ball. <laughs> That's what I Those are my heroes. I'm like Moira is my hero. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. I'm like, she's a great healer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's actually what you should do. <laughs> she has a very, she's a very, uh, just, very stylized healer because she can also do damage. So if I really, if there's an also too many healers, I can run a, I can run a damage, I can run a damage mod on her. And, and go, you should definitely do that. No, I'm, I opted out. <laughs> I participate in all the games that we play, even if I am not fond of them, because I don't, I just want, I don't want to be like the guy who's like a fucking. Debbie Downer and like doesn't like participate. Fair enough. Who's your who's your favorite superhero then? Do you have a favorite superhero? No. Really? No. I don't no. have any sort of idolization of anything. Really? Nah, dude. I've been let down too much. I'm jaded. No, so like a, with comic book superheroes. Oh, I don't know, dude. Superman, Batman. I don't care. Dude, I fuck with Wolverine. That's like your. He's man. got a bad attitude, and I like that. <laughs> You're like he's, he's a little on the edges, right? He's a little bit of a stalkerish type. Yeah. We'll definitely fuck your bitch. Wow. Was that... He was all after Scott Summers' girl. Oh, the the uh, the, the Gray Street girl? Jean, Jean Gray. Oh, he was in there? He slid? He was trying really hard. He almost got the cheeks a couple times. I think he may have. Where was where was Summers? Getting cucked. That's <laughs> where he was. He was like, he's like, I can't take my goggles off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Is he's that like, Where Wolverine hid his goggles when he was sleeping, and he woke up and he couldn't open his eyes, and he's in there cucking his girl while he's <laughs> it's superhero version of where are my glasses? <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> and meanwhile, he's slamming his woman in the back room. Wow, <laughs> you hid his glasses. <laughs> so you could fuck his girl. 
<laughs> Yo, I'm just saying, me and me and Wolverine, me and Logan got some shit in common. <laughs> just saying. His glasses so he can't see you fucking this girl. <laughs> Jesus, right. Jesus Christ. All right, let's do some real stories here. <laughs> oh. uh, all right, so. Oh, my God, the mental image is at his so, great, <laughs> I just see him crawling around on the floor. <laughs> you know, when he opens his eyes, he's just going to burn through the wall because he has those lasers. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, my God. Uh, so back on New Year's Eve this past year before pandemic, uh, in a prison, they decided it would be a really good idea to let two cartels all the members that were in a car in there from the cartels participate in a soccer game. They allowed their friends and family to come and watch. Yeah. Um, because they thought it would it would do something to boost morale, etc. A oh, fight. Uh, they were two. They were two cartels. They used to be aligned, mm -hmm. and then they they uh, they just, they were no longer aligned. Maybe for like a decade or a decade and a half. So, um, mm. what happened? Well, Jonas, <coughs> let me, excuse me, let me, I had to clear my throat because I'm about to say something insightful. Um, let's put it like this. All right. So these two cartels go into a soccer match. There's two things that could happen. They're in prison. Yes, they're in prison. Mm -hmm. I get it. There's two things that could happen. Right. Either A, somebody could get hurt. Okay. That's option A. Most likely that's Occam's razor. Uh, option two is you help these two cartels become more friendly strengthening the cartels in all of the fucking where was it i don't i don't remember okay it wasn't, you it could help that. strengthen the cartels grip on the streets because then again they're like hey, you know what you're not so bad alignment so both options are bad but i'm thinking option a <laughs> occam's razor okay let's go um yeah 16 people ended up dead <laughs> <laughs> It's not funny, but what? 16 people ended up dead. Five injured. Um, there was a dirty tackle. A dirty tackle. Violence erupted. Yeah. All of a sudden, somehow they ended up, they had guns. They had uh, 16 guns. people ended up shot dead. <laughs> this is in prison. No, this was not an American prison. No, it wasn't. They... They had to. They had to. They had to evacuate all the visitors. This is in front of their family and friends. Jeez. Twenty ambulances were called to the prison. Jeez. It took two hours for the guards to regain control of the prison. Jeez. I was like, sixteen motherfuckers ended up dead. Jesus, man, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, yeah. man. So you were right. Yes, there was some fight. Somebody right, ended up well, hurt. You know, option B would have been like in a movie that would have been the feel good option. It's like, like the gridiron gang with the yeah, rock. Like, yeah. <laughs> like all of a sudden they're like, yeah, you're not so bad. And all the cartel guys are smoking cigars to get together. Right, right. At the end, they're making pasta and yeah. eating, serving garlic bread to each other. And you just see them like robbing banks together or some shit. <laughs> they're playing that like, uh, sweet Caroline. <laughs> bum, bank, bum, bank, bum. bank. Yeah, After yeah. shooting the bank tellers. Yeah. They, and it would have been great. Yeah. But each other. It, so yeah, there was shame. weapons and Definitely. how they ended up with guns and prison. No, I mean, was, it was not America. Probably Bolivia or something. It like was not America. Guatemala. It almost sounds like it was uh, planned, to be honest. Oh. It sounds a little staged. Yeah, yeah, dude. You know. It's a little bit like too lackadaisical on the rules. Yeah, they're all pretty like, sure that's against the rules. <laughs> Soccer? I mean, that's like saying, okay, that's like saying in an American prison, that'd be like putting the neo-Nazis against the uh, the black gang f uh, from the prison. Like the Crips versus the not from yeah. the skin versus the skinheads. Just, just imagine you got fucking like the skinheads versus the, the Crips and Bloods or some shit. Like, get the fuck out of here. friendly what game of basketball. a friendly <laughs> game. Why be basketball, John? I'm just kidding. No, no, friendly game's fine. <laughs> I was like, what else are they going to play in prison? Gonna... Soccer in America. <laughs> Make a valid point. <laughs> Can't be baseball dangerous. Can't be football. You're right. Okay, yeah. John, you know what? I take it back. That was not a. <laughs> <laughs> They're just playing kickball out there. <laughs> kickball? <laughs> what do you think is going to happen? Rival, rival uh, gangs against each other. The same thing. Sports are like violence. Like, it is the most ultra super competitive motherfuckers up against I each like other. That. They want to fight when you lose. Like, I like that. It is, it is a lot of gang mentality involved. It is. Did yeah, you, it's like... 
Yeah, one person, like in baseball, the pitcher hits a player, they charge the goddamn mound, the bench is clear and shit. That just recently happened. In baseball? Like, yes. During pandemic? Uh, It was the A's versus o- Oakland A's yeah. versus some... Oh, I just know that Oakland was winning at the time. A uh, guy gets beamed by a pitch. This has happened uh, just a... Well, probably Must like have been that, just but, in the last like week or so, yeah. yeah. Um, Gets beamed by a pitch. He gets a little mad. He rushes the dugout because you can hear everything that's being said. Oh, cause because there's no... There's no Oh, so they're making fun of him. <laughs> they said something, and he was just like... Oh, he went to the dugout, not the pitcher. Yeah, he charged, so both... He went to the whole team? He's like, I'm going to take all you fuckers. Dude, both dugouts clear out. They're both... All the coaches, everybody piles up. It's like a 30-man pile-up. And there's no crowd. <laughs> and there's like... just, like, <laughs> potential coronavirus just all over the place. Because they're, con- they're concerned about that. They're trained that even when they're arguing or fighting, they have to maintain six feet of distance. Dude, it's not there's happening. no crowd. There's nothing going on. Dude, These the motherfuckers ba- are fighting. <laughs> baseball. Well, that's the game mentality. Right? Right. So, baseball looks terrible. So they have like cardboard. I cutouts. saw that, dude. They have cardboard cutouts in the crowd. I was. I watched one baseball game. I came across it on uh, the high def uh, antenna. And uh, the, the announcers are like, check out what we can do. They have CGI crowd. And they're all like standing up like it's like Madden 97. <laughs> they're no. all just like. So they can put all CGI yeah, in the crowd, yeah, too. I heard they were going to do that. I think the... Uh, just green screen. I do think the cardboard cutouts add a little personality to it. The cardboard cutouts are ridiculous looking. How much I money they like spent on them fucking cutouts? I, I have no... More and than the, they should have. And, and, and then they had to pay motherfuckers to go out there and put them in like 30,000 seats. Hey, essential workers. It rains once. They're all just like... <laughs> They close the door. No, <laughs> I don't know. It it does. It looks bad. I don't know. I feel like it's a, a bad look, but I could see like watching Empty, it in an empty, em- st- empties. Empties are worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, because like when wrestling first went and they're doing it live without a crowd, you could totally tell they had they had the still the same view they used to always have from the side, and it looked mm-hmm. awful with Dan. Yeah. Then they changed it so the ramp is behind them, so at yeah. least there's like a ramp behind them, and then they started getting like the wrestler extras in the crowd against the rail. So, cause that's all you could ever see when you watch wrestling anyways, was the first row row, of fans. So it gives the illusion Uh, of fans uh, crowd, but now they have plexiglass up. So it's like, it's like a hockey arena. Cause they can like pound on the glass and shit. Okay. I'll fuck with that. Yeah. (laughs) But it's all the way down the ramp, all the way around the ring. It's really weird. Like it's, it's strange to see. Huh. Yeah, so. I, I have to admit is that it, it, we are definitely conditioned. is doing bad. <laughs> <laughs> right. Exactly, this, dude. This is a blowout. I can turn the channel. Right. Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> just been really, in wrestling. Really I did. See, you know what I saw today? I'll touch on before we get done. What's that? Um, the Pittsburgh Pirates. Um, <laughs> baseball. Yeah, baseball. There was a, a guy. He was a season ticket holder. He, mm. he, took, he put a picture on Reddit today. <laughs> A the somebody on the Pirates hit a home run. Mm-hmm. The ball landed in his seat, and they he's like, "Hey, so and so from such and such newspaper found this ball in your seat. We wish you were here to enjoy it, but since you're not, here's the ball that landed in the, in your seat. We hope look to see you next year in the in your seats." Oh, I was like, "Oh, look at that! Like the the foul ball or the home run went into, landed in their seat, and in, so they didn't get to get it home, so they mailed it to their house and like That's sent them awful. a letter. That's awful, nice. I know. I was like, if I was a season ticket holder, I'd be like, you know what? That's cool. I'm still canceling the fucking ticket. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, oh, that's cool. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. I was like, I can't imagine they do that for every ball, but no. But that would be anyone that probably lands in a seat. It was probably in the seat, you know, like how the seats fold up. Yeah. It probably landed. So they're like, oh, yeah, it bounces could, out of your seat. How the hell you know? Might it cause damage to the seat or something, potentially. Or something. Uh, yeah, I think that's cool. Honestly, that would be an incentive to maintain your season ticket if uh, if that were the case. Because yeah. I'm sure people have already purchased season tickets to baseball prior to this, this happening. Yeah, there's a guy in one of the in one of the chats I'm in. He's a Tampa Bay Buccaneers season ticket holder, and Tom oh. Brady just got signed. He's like, we get Brady and Gronk, and fucking pandemic cancels the goddamn. Or I can't even go to the fucking game, and like it's probably it's probably Brady's last year anyway. So it's like the one year he could have got to see Brady as his hometown quarterback. Yeah. You think Brady's only going to do one more year, dude? If if I think well, because here's the thing. I think he'll do at least two. Yeah, but here's the thing. If he's not playing football for a whole year and he's like 45, yeah. he, he's going to be so out of football. It's like you can keep going as long as you're in the groove. 
it's like you know it's like the 80 year old dude in the gym he still goes to the gym because he's been working out for 50 years yeah but I'll take Brady at 80% <laughs> still over just about anybody. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> if I had 80% of Brady <laughs> in Cleveland, I would believe me. I'd get off the Brady hate train. But I'd <laughs> still like, like, you know what? That guy, he's not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, but still fuck Brady. Yeah, right. If he so. goes to Cleveland, then we'll talk. Yeah, right? he won't. <laughs> no one will. <laughs> oh, shit. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please That's make sure. It. Wait, no, really? That's it. Then we done. <gasps> They quick. They quick. You were quick. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Stop is... me premature pot me. <laughs> <laughs> that is all the time we have for today's episode. All over my chest. Yeah, dude. All over his chest. <laughs> Please make sure to like and subscribe. He's on Twitch. He's famous. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. That's TNT D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore crazy team. All right. For Jonas. TNT. We'll catch you on the next one. We... Or, yep.